Yo, we back with another video. So here to get y'all update on what we got going on today. Um, headed to uh, Dallas. We gotta have a surgery. I gotta have surgery on my Achilles. A little tear. Man, if ain't one thing, it's another, but it's all right. We gonna get uh, everything back in order. And I'm um, just here to keep, keep y'all updated on how this process gonna go, what we gotta do. Let everybody know what's going on. That's that's worried about it, or that know that know me. And just how you keep pushing forward, no matter what's going on. Just to show everybody that you know, I just keep coming back, no matter what it is. Right, baby. Yeah, I feel like you're like the perfect testimony of no matter what happens, you figure out a way to push back, and you can do anything you want to do because. I feel like anybody who's walked in your shoes, even just for a little bit, would have given up by now, and you haven't, right. and I feel like it's, like, pretty cool for even, like, younger people to see, too. So, yeah, it's just another little bump in the road. Just figure out what's going on. Yeah. But we're going to keep y'all updated. We're going to head to get in there here soon. Um, Laney's going to take the little camera. Update uh, y'all. Show y'all the little scars. Share, little I'll baby share scars. More, like your story too, because I feel like people need to know, like, yeah. just really what you've been through. Yeah. You know, and shout out to the people that be sticking with me. You know, but yeah, we're gonna keep y'all updated. See y'all in a little bit. We're at the hospital. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're gonna be allowed to record here, huh? but I was saying I don't know if we're gonna be able to record in here, so. We're walking in. Let me get him checked in. No, I'll update you. This lovely boot. The SOR for. Oh no. A minute. No. It's like a heel, literally. <laughs> He says his toes are cute. This is like a little before. This is cute. The back is good. Yeah, the back is crazy. Like, yeah. Look at the bruising. It's nuts compared to. We'll put them side by side. He's all dressed and ready. I'm ready to go to sleep. Are you ready for it to be over? Yep. He said he wishes that they would put him to sleep, drive him to the hospital, and have the surgery and drive him home. Can I wake him up? Okay. See, see guys, this is the worst part about playing football. Or doing anything in that ball, you training. Because this is our fourth go around. Just fourth together. Game. Just really together because you had more before me. Right? Yeah, I see. Ugh. Okay, well, I'll keep y'all. Hold, hold on, look at this um, room. This room oh, yeah, this one is the nicest one we've been in. Usually it's like an open, like, yeah. what would you call it? An open surgery or something. Like or something. A, a chair for me. So nice. Nice little view. That's close. <laughs> Okay. Right, we'll see y'all. We'll report back. Y'all soon. Yeah, I'll report back. I guess she's gonna explain shit to y'all. <laughs> I'm cropping that out. So Ivy is in. Yeah, speak up. And he's about to head back to the OR. Love you. Love you too. so weird this time they literally gave him his medicine like to go night night in the room 
So I like gave him knuckles, you know, like, good luck. See you soon. And they're like, okay, yeah, you have to go. Cause he's not gonna remember walking back to the, the room. Oh, that was wild. Thank I just you. read in the box for you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. I literally am starving. I don't know where to go. I was such a good wifey. And it's one o'clock right well I waited until Marquise went back to surgery because I felt so bad because he couldn't eat like at all from midnight on last night and then he went back like an hour ago and he still hasn't gotten to eat so I felt so bad like eating in front of him so I just I just didn't eat until now and I'm like all right I'm starving I'm going to eat in and out oh god I'm gonna drive back to the place. And I'll get back on you. Okay guys, I'm back. I got in and out. Wow. That's so good. Um anyway, I was just saying I was such a nice wifey this morning and didn't eat at all until one o'clock because he couldn't eat and I felt bad that I was going to be the only one eating and he's starving. So yeah. Anyway, they said his surgery would take like an hour. Um, and then he'll probably be in like recovery for like an hour. At least it's what it's been like the last few times. But anyway, I feel like I just wanted to like say, hop on here and really just explain I feel like Marquise is not the best at explaining things especially a story like you guys if you even walked a day like in what he's had to go through and overcome like it's unbelievable like it really is like his injury his first injury was 2000 actually no so in 2000 17 he tore his ACL MCL no yeah ACL MCL that's it um in college on a non-contact play and that was the year he was supposed to declare for the draft and obviously that set him back which was fine no big deal he waited um rehabbed played again for the U another year and was healthy we ended up moving to Florida when he declared for the draft to train and we moved to Fort Lauderdale for a few months trained I was also pregnant so we had Zeke and I was pregnant yeah in Fort Lauderdale for a few months then he was drafted to the Seahawks um, a great first year second year Friendly fire, tore ACL, MCL, double meniscus, and we flew to Pensacola for the surgery for that. And the doctor had told us, like, listen, his knee is great. It was a jigsaw puzzle to put back together. Like, it was really, really bad. So that was, M wait, ACL, MCL, double meniscus. Yeah, that was the second time. And that was opposite knee. So it wasn't a re-tear. It was opposite knee. Um, and he was... I think the worst part about that is he was in the best shape of his life. Like he was just projected to have a really, really great, like standout year. And like, I want to say it was just a few games in. It's been so long, but yeah. So that was really hard. Um, he read rehab, did his thing, whatever. But we were noticing like as he was rehabbing, like close to coming back that he was still having like knee pain so he ended up doing an MRI and whatnot and we saw that his patella was cracked from when the surgeon went in to repair the ACL because they take the um, the tendon to repair and he drilled too far in so that cracked his patella and so we had known about that for months and we were doing everything we could 
everything we could to avoid going back to surgery because it was either he goes back to surgery and he's out for the year or he tries to at least go for the year and hopefully it, it heals on its own because it could heal on its own and so we did that and he was doing like everything he possibly could to try to get it to heal on its own and it really wasn't so honestly it was either we wait until it cracks all the way his patella until it cracks all the way or we go to surgery now and you're out for the year so he's like well no i'm i i already missed because my ac out like i have to play so he went back played and played throughout like majority of the season on a cracked patella like literally his kneecap was cracked and it finally cracked all the way through i want to say it was like game i don't know maybe game seven ish um so yeah so then that happened obviously gonna put him out um, had surgery for that and he was just rehabbing so hard to try to get back like literally every single day like just constantly like, not overdoing it but m maybe so um I think his body was just so tired like constantly rehabbing that he um had a like got a sports hernia so he was hip thrusting actually and he was like felt a little something, something's not right, waited a little bit, and he's finally like, okay, I think I should get an MRI. Gets an MRI, has a sports hernia, we fly to Philadelphia to have surgery on that. They, The doctor ends up doing both, the surgeon ends up doing both sides, um, so he had double groin surgery, another year of surgery, rehabbing, but he ends up like coming back off that pretty fast. Like I think at this time it's about, he did miss like the, um, this would have been like last year, so he did miss camp like all of that and like got back right around preseason so he hadn't played in forever got back to preseason um played was still you know like feeling things out whatever um was back whatever healthy this whole year like this is where it's like the worst thing ever so he's like He's re like he is no longer rehabbing this is his first off season in the NFL that he hasn't been rehabbing an injury so he's like working his ass off like literally three a days two a day like constant like as the best trainer like is working so hard like doing everything eating so healthy like doing all the right things and I think this is the part where it's just like ugh it there's like really shitty sides to the NFL and I feel like this is like one that's just like really really sucks like injuries really really suck well Marquise's like main thing he wanted to focus on this year was like growing in his faith and learning more about God and just making sure we made it a point to be at church every Sunday and just like wanted to get right with the Lord and do like all the things like he wanted to make sure like he was doing everything he should be doing and like he just transformed his life like really transformed his life this year and was working so hard so hard like this off season like got up to 205 pounds and like if you know Marquise like he's normally 190 like he's tiny like he did all of the things and last week was working out um last week was working out jumping over like doing footwork with his trainer hurdles and he literally landed and tore his Achilles like and he let's see he would report in like two weeks um for OTAs but yeah the best shape of his life and it's just happens in a second and I think like the worst part like as someone who sits back and like looks at it and watches all of this happen is like seeing him put in all of the work never wavers from being a dad like shows up every single day for us like his kids and he was always like telling me like my entire life has been a test like one thing after another and like he was put in the most perfect like he had a really great opportunity this year to play and with a great team and great coaches and he was so excited and it was literally ripped away from him in a second and, like it gets it makes me so emotional but it's just like it's so sad someone works so hard and does all the right things 
and he's so deserving and it's ripped away in a second it's so it's awful Ugh, sorry but yeah anyway that's his story and I know he would never like go into detail and say any of it because he just keeps pushing and does his thing and I'm so proud of him for it and I know like ugh, like this next chapter for him is gonna be like super trying and difficult and not just physically but emotionally like I feel like people don't understand like what these players put into it to make like to do all the things but when you're rehabbing every single off season and you're doing everything you're supposed to do and it just like ends up happening so it's like ugh to someone so deserving and someone who works so hard it literally like it does make sense but Marquise does not want to make an excuse and he will not make an excuse and I know he's gonna do whatever he can to like get back to you know do what he can and I know he was gonna get another shot so yeah basically just keep him in your prayers and pray for peace and understanding because I know it like I hurt for him so I just can't imagine like how he feels and I know more so physically it's mental that's gonna be really hard and I feel like that's like if you've been through injury and like you've been around it you know how hard it is and yeah so that's all of my sob fest but I love him and I'm proud of him and I know he's gonna come out on top so just cheer him on along the way and we'll figure it out but I will update y'all once he is out of surgery he probably has like eh, 30 more minutes left I haven't even gotten like the notification but I'll show y'all him in recovery usually he's like just st stares and it's kind of like eh, not so fr I don't know if he's not so friendly but we'll see he's done and he did great the doctor just called me so we're gonna get to go see him stay tuned god help us I'm just kidding Good. It fixed everything. Doctor said his surgery went great. He has like a little pain pump around his neck. <laughs> he just told the nurse he really has to piss. So he's back. No, we just got done with surgery. On our way home. They said that uh, everything turned out pretty good. Got this damn pain pump on. What you was doing, babe? So what? So what was you doing? I was eating in and out, talking to the camera. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. We got a little nerve block in, so I ain't feeling nothing right now. Till Saturday. Till Saturday. Three days. We're all on our way home. Let's see what the kids think about it. <laughs> Tune back in. Got home, the hospital. Hey, Miss Ivy. Hi. Is Daddy, you think Daddy be okay? Yeah. How was school? Good. Yeah. Yes. Go get your brother. Do y'all say Zeke? Zeke. Let me kiss. I got you, gum. See Daddy's foot. Yeah, I see that. I see her foot. Yeah, it's kind of numb right now, guys. She looks nasty. Where's the nail? Where's the nail? Dun, dun. <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, I got it for him. Oh, yeah? Get your brother.
Aziki boy come. Hurry up. Hey, come sit up here and talk. I want it. Okay. How you think daddy's doing? Come here, sit right here. Have it now. I How was school? Good. You see daddy sweat? Huh? You see daddy sweat? Yeah. Daddy gonna be okay? Have it. Is daddy gonna be okay? Yeah. Now give me a kiss. Love you. We just gave you our update. We just got home a little bit ago. We're feeling good, man. It's numb. And man, we gonna we gonna post again tomorrow, day one, post out. See what we got going on. Um probably have Laney up all night tonight. I ain't taking no medicine yet, but I'll be alright. Y'all tune in, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna show y'all this whole process of recovery, PT, all of it. And um appreciate everybody checked on me, Cody Condre, my mom, Laney's parents. My friends, um, yeah, just stay tuned, man. Peace out.